Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. It's coming to you guys with another video. I think this is 17th video of the month for moto vlogging uh, for November. Now the original intent was to do a video a day for charity. If you look down below, as of yesterday, we hit $2,000 uh, shooting for $2,500 by the end of November for November. November is a charity that uh, raises money and supports uh, causes for men's mental health, suicide prevention, testicular cancer, prostate cancer, uh, basically just men's health. And uh, I wanted to do my part in trying to raise as much money as I could on this channel. And I thank everybody here for their support. It has been ridiculous. <laughs> I was not anticipating uh, really being where we are uh, at this point with the fundraiser. And I believe there was one huge donation uh, made over this weekend that was a thousand to twelve hundred dollars so I mentioned that in my live stream yesterday thank you to whoever that was that came through clutch uh, on that one now it is possible that twelve hundred people came in and donated a dollar but uh, I, I don't think that happened I do believe it was one giant donation from an incredibly incredibly uh, charitable person a viewer out there so thank you very much uh, it's huge I think that Movember is an awesome cause. Uh, when you have a platform, uh, sometimes you feel like you want to do something, but things are just, you know, the world's too big. You can only help so many people. So uh, being able to channel this channel into just uh, raising funds that I know will go to people that, that need it, is uh, it's important to me. So thank you guys very much. It's huge. Be doing this again all the way through November. Um, not sure I might not be on the bike for uh, every day I've found the live streams to be uh, well kind of a better fundraising medium in general but uh, I really enjoyed the live streams and communicating with the viewers it's been really pleasurable I've never really gone that far into live streaming and uh, it, it's been awesome so uh, I might kind of change up and follow you know maybe where the donations are for the sake of that is it's what I'm doing for this month so uh, we'll see where that goes but I did want to update you guys uh, I did get my truck back after uh, 18 days 19 days of it uh, being in the shop because well I crashed it on a job site with totally boneheaded move uh, relatively what you would consider to be minor um, but ended up costing three thousand four hundred and thirty six dollars and thirty eight cents so little minor kind of fender benders can be uh rather expensive and uh, for me on that truck i had a seven hundred and fifty dollar deductible so um, out of pocket stupid mistake cost me 750 bucks so i did take it to uh, precision auto body this is not sponsored i they didn't even know that i had a youtube channel so um, I did just want to mention it because I do know that finding uh, quality auto body shops can be rather difficult. These guys did a great job. Uh, just I think with every experience there's uh, bound to be some negatives. Uh, number one was the time frame being out uh, without a truck for 19 days was uh, it was a lot. You know I rode to work 14 business days total. Uh, on the bike which isn't a big deal I enjoy doing it but the issue is for my job uh, I kind of need to have a vehicle that I can get out to job sites and stuff like that so back when I first started this current job that I have getting around on the bike really wasn't a big deal uh, because for the most part I had to carry a hard hat and uh, a laptop to job sites that's easy enough to throw in a backpack on the back of the bike but recently in the last like six months or so I got real heavy into some drone stuff and the drone case that I towed around is well massive so uh, I, I was kind of hindered from doing that part of my job for uh, two weeks and I fell pretty behind with some of that stuff so it's just nice to get the truck back and uh, be able to do that stuff again so time was a big deal uh, the other issue was like anything you know if your car is stock and you take it into a shop there really aren't a lot of surprises but I do have just aftermarket lights and the tanu cover and all those things that um, did I just get 
no wave from a reverse trike how dare you <laughs> just kidding by the way american bike and trike i love their hoodies this uh hockey jersey hoodie is awesome i don't know if they sell them uh, on their website but it's an awesome hoodie uh, very unique i enjoy it a lot american bike and trike they've supported the channel in the past awesome company great people i recommend them but back to the truck uh, yeah, so having all of the aftermarket stuff on my truck, what happened was they pulled the bed, and I wasn't expecting them to pull the bed, but also it's not unreasonable for them to do that for the work that they had to do. So they pulled the bed, and when they did it, it's obvious to me that they weren't expecting the wiring for the power tanu cover, and clearly they just snipped it, popped a fuse, and when they put it all back together, uh, they did put some quick disconnects on the wiring and wired it all back up, but it wasn't working and I quickly tracked it down to the fuse, replaced that, and uh, realized that obviously if they blew a fuse they probably just snipped it. So kind of a, a pain in the butt thing to have to, to deal with after spending, well, 3500 bucks. Uh, there was also a trim piece missing on the roof, no big deal, I caught it, uh, just all one of those things of pay attention when you're picking stuff up that trim piece was was missing so they just ran back and popped that back on again no big deal uh, all in precision auto body did a really really good job i would recommend them uh, as anything uh, even with positives there are some negatives and i like to share that with people because well it's uh, unfiltered and uh, the truth so it's nice to have the truck back uh, i'm really happy to uh, be able to go back to the truck for, uh, especially for work purposes. Uh, again, a lot of my job requires uh, that. A couple of people asked me about uh, using your personal vehicle for work as if like that's something uh, uncommon. And uh, just to kind of clarify, in construction, it's very typical for office personnel to claim mileage on their personal vehicles uh, for back and forth to job sites and when you talk about like well does your insurance company know you're using your vehicle for work uh, it's sort of a, a gray area you have uh, back and forth to a job site is still just your commute back and forth to work uh, there is no difference so uh, the only thing that becomes a difference I suppose is when you start loading that vehicle up with tools and uh, towing free carpet for anybody who's interested it's up on the 60 uh, overpass here the real issue with using your vehicle for work is more around hauling materials around town and uh, you know a constant back and forth all day uh, for for stuff like that or using your vehicle for hire that's a big one um, if you're actually making money say you're hot shotting stuff up and down the road uh, on a trailer and, and charging per mile or even driving for uber or lyft uh, the insurance companies can come down on you for that kind of stuff but uh, yeah normal commuting back and forth is, is certainly not anything that's uh, objectionable for for an insurance company and uh, in construction it is rather common uh, then we also have people that are higher up from me that actually get vehicle allowances which if you take a vehicle allowance it's also kind of a different ball game but a lot of companies are starting to go more towards vehicle allowances because uh, if they give you a thousand bucks a month for a car payment or to cover that car payment and uh, you go out and get liquored up and you know kill somebody it's not on their insurance policy they're not getting sued for everything that they're worth uh, it's your personal vehicle and they have a way to kind of step aside from that so uh, there's a lot of liability with company vehicles that's why a lot of companies have the rule of you know drive into the shop and pick it up every day because they don't trust everybody taking it home uh, unfortunately people have been sued and companies have been lost over uh, providing too much trust in employees so it only takes a couple people to ruin it for everybody else and that's basically the world that we live in uh, which is kind of a bummer but it is reality so with that being said guys i just wanted to update you guys on uh, getting the truck back the amount of damage no it was not totaled but the damage was much more than most people would probably have thought 
at uh, thirty-five hundred dollars. So uh, again, just wanted to put that out there, keep you guys up to speed on what was going on, because I did mention to you guys that uh, I was an idiot and, and crashed it up. So. Uh, that's it for today's video. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. If you can check out Movember in the link down below, throw a couple bucks. I would appreciate it. It's uh, going towards a good cause. Again, if this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. See you guys next time.